what is up everyone this is too slow and today i'm gonna be showing you guys my repair procedure for quarter panels and places on vehicles that are non-accessible from the back of the i guess the sheet metal and today we're gonna be discussing quarter panels as you can see right here this quarter panel on the driver's side of my sixth gen was just covered in bondo covered i did not like it and i was so close so close to saying you know what screw it i want the car done already i want the car painted but then i looked at it closer and i was like it's just it just doesn't look right you know i don't want it it's gonna bother me so today i bit the, my i bit my tongue and i got my harbor freight angle grinder and just took off all the bondo <laughs> So that was a really dusty process. You can see my work area is a lot dusty. And so first thing I ended up using was, again, this is a good Harbor Freight tool. I've owned it for many, many years. It is a Drillmaster four and a half inch angle grinder. And I got Harbor Freight's um, disc att attachments. They do have some sanding ones that have grits on it, like right here, but I don't have it and Harbor Freight is closed right now because it is a Sunday afternoon. It's probably like around 6 p.m. So I'm not going to go run to Harbor Freight and, you know, it's damn near sunset. It's about 7 p.m. right now. Um, daylight savings did pass already, so our nights are a lot longer now. So anyways, enough chit chat. I want to show you guys an awesome tool I picked up from Harbor Freight a long, long time ago. and. I, I can't remember why I personally bought this. Oh, that's right. Huge shout outs to my friend Ricardo Moreno. Um, back when he had a Honda Prelude, someone hit him on the quarter panel. And I had given him a suggestion. Hey, let's go buy that Harbor Freight stud welder kit. It's about 100 bucks if you buy it on sale. And we could probably get your quarter panel out. So get this. We managed to get the, the huge dent out of his quarter panel. I had already thrown through the layer of Bondo to, to sand it down. And it was ready for paint. And I kid you not, he was driving on the freeway that, that day back home from work. And someone just rear-ended the crap out of him. And I was just so sad. He sent me the picture. I was like, dude, I spent so much time pulling that dent out. It's, it's whatever, you know, shit happens. And luckily, um, it was a work vehicle. So insurance ended up paying him a good amount of money. And he ended up buying a... I guess a ninth gen Civic, which was sold to his brother, totaled, and then he bought a 10th gen Civic. So everyone's happy. And I don't know, um, I forgot why he gave me this, but he was like, you know what, bro? It seems like you do a lot of auto body, so I'm gonna go ahead and give it to you. But I don't know if Harbor Freight still sells it. I'm pretty sure they do. Um, we bought this for a hundred bucks and it works great. So you can see I already have some of them right here. I went ahead and got the line the body line right here from the frame or from the vehicle and all i did was just get measuring tape and just trace the line as best as i could so that i could pull out this line so that i could get it as best as possible so that i don't have to cover this whole panel with with bondo because i just don't want that so we're gonna go ahead and continue sanding all the bondo off i know it goes all the way over here so we're gonna sand as much as as i can out of it and just pull the whole panel out but basically what we're gonna do here is i'm gonna show you guys what i do um so when you buy the kit it comes with a bag of just a bunch of little um studs so we're gonna go ahead and pull one out i'm gonna go ahead and pull one out and we're gonna go ahead and insert it and oh it's still pretty warm <laughs> So this thing's a beast, man. I have big hands. I, I have big hands and this thing is just, look at that. <laughs> so this thing, this thing is pretty big. Let me see if I could do this with one hand. It's gonna be next to impossible, but look at that. I already got it in here. And what we're gonna do is when we, when we apply here, we have to push in and that's how it grounds itself to weld. Cause see, look, if I just go like this, nothing happens. Nothing happens when I press it. So we have to, push it all the way in and that's how it grounds itself there you go just a couple of seconds and pulls out and you already got a stud there so set that down and then it comes with a slide hammer 
they gotta let you know it's from China. <laughs> so, so we're gonna go ahead and put the stud puller on that. And let's go ahead and do that. So I went ahead and welded a couple more just so that I can match the, the line of the curve. And how you're gonna wanna put this on is there's this little thing right here. And you can see how it goes up and down. So basically when it goes down, it locks it locks on the stud. So this is basically how I'm gonna go ahead and do this. I'm gonna feed it in all the way. And then we're gonna lock it. We're gonna go ahead and lock it and you can see how it's stuck. I'm pulling on it, but that's not how we're gonna go ahead and do this. The point of the objective is, can't do this with one hand, but basically it's a slide hammer. So we're gonna basically do that. We're gonna keep um, hitting it so that we can pull that line out. And it's not gonna be a perfect line, but it's gonna be somewhat consistent. Sure, there's other methods nowadays. Um, I've been seeing the new method of like hot gluing stuff on the on the quarter panels and whatnot, and just pulling it out. But I guess if you want to go old school method, and I'm pretty sure this is still going around. I'm pretty sure people are still doing this in the industry, but it's, but I guess the hot glue method is a lot more common nowadays since it doesn't. You don't have to grind it down and weld the stud because right now at this point. What we're gonna do is we would now have to cut the studs out and just go like this on it and make it look clean so that we're able to be ready with the filler primer at that or the filler the body filler and just lay it over so i'm not going to show you guys that method this is, video is just a tool i guess a tool not review but like, I guess an introduction to this tool for those of you that don't know that it exists at Harbor Freight. So about a hundred dollars, um, it does the job really well. Um, I would give this tool a, uh, a good grade. Um, I don't know. I guess I would give it a, an A plus. It hasn't failed on me. I did all these and it worked. Um, it didn't pop the, the breaker on it and all these i i, I kind of thought these were gonna just break off and not a single one has broken off guys and that lets me to believe that this thing is actually welding pretty good on the actual thing of the vehicle and that slide hammer also does its job and another method if you guys don't want to use a slide hammer or want to like kind of get a precise one you can also put the hammer here and kind of pull on it you can also pull on it i'm not I'm not doing it right right now but you can kind of pull on it you can see how if you don't want to do it too hard, you can also use the hammer. So just giving you guys some options here. Um, this is pretty much going to be the, the end of the video. Um, thank you guys for tuning in. Um, I'll, as I progress along with the 6th gen build, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys new tools and whatnot. But for now, um, I don't know if I showed you guys, but I've already painted the doors, the roof, the quarter panel on that side and i still got the bumper left we already did the hatch i gotta do the bumper that's pro the bumper and this quarter panel are probably the last of the primer and once we get the primer completely done then we're gonna go ahead and wet sand the whole car with 600 grit and we should be able to drop it off at the paint store at the paint shop and have them paint it and once they finish painting the car, then I'm gonna go ahead and drop off the body kit, which is the, the TRD rear spats, the TRD side skirts, the SS3 wing, and the TRD front spats. So, um, yeah, <laughs> I guess that's it guys. Thank you guys for tuning in. So everyone's been seeing just body work going on with this beast. So I'm gonna go ahead and Start it up. I haven't heard this in a million years. Let's see if I could get my. Oops. All right. Excuse the mess. It's a race car. All right. Let's see. Cool. I got power. Let me go ahead and set the phone down. We in neutral. Yes, we are. All right. Wow. First try. <laughs>
first try. That's what's up. It's not warm enough, so I don't want to rev it yet. But check it out, it still runs. I got some residual oil right there. 